Hey everybody, Mr. MathLog here. We're going to solve some volume equations. So we're going to use our volume equals uh, length times width times height with rectangular solids. And um, uh, we're going to be missing a side. They're going to give us the volume or some form of. So find the volume of a right rectangular prism with fractional edges. So how can we write equations to solve problems involving volume of rectangular prisms? Okay, you might hear some banging around and uh, we're having some siding put on our house. And so um, uh, that's what the banging is going to be in the background. If you hear it, you probably will. Anyways, um, uh, writing equations using the volume of a rectangular prism. So we can use the formula for the volume of a rectangular prism, which is length, there we go, bang, 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 uh, length times width times height to write an equation. And then we'll solve the equation to find the missing measurement of the prism, okay? Here's one, you guys. So Samuel has an ant farm with volume of 375 cubic inches. The width of the, sorry about the banging, you guys, I don't know what else to do, so here it is. So the width of the ant farm is 2.5 inches and the length is 15 inches. What is the height of his ant farm? Okay, so here's our formula, volume equals um, length times width times height. And then plugging in all the information right here, it says the volume is 375 cubic inches, so 375 goes here. And uh, the length is 15, so that goes here. And the width is 2.5, so that goes here. So it says, what's the height? We're looking for H right there. So if we multiply 15 times 2.5, that's going to get us uh, 37.5. And then we divide both sides by 37.5, and we get H equals 10. Now, what does that mean, you guys? Okay, always answer it in the context of the problem. That's the height, and it's in inches, so we're going to say the height of that ant farm is 10 inches, okay? Always answer it uh, in terms of what the problem is. Okay, so explain how we could find the solution to the example using the formula volume equals base times height. Well, we can pick two of the sides, you guys, and if we did uh, the length times the width, which is uh, 2.5 times 15, we can call that the base right there. And then we can divide the volume by the base to get the height right there, something like that, okay? All right, find the height of this rectangular prism, which has a volume of 15 sixteenths cubic feet right there, okay? So volume is length times width times height, so 15 sixteenths equals the length, which is uh, 3 fourths, the width is 1 half, and the height is what we're looking for. Okay, let's go ahead and multiply these fractions right here. When you're multiplying fractions, we multiply, nothing cancels. We can can't cancel from 3 and 2 and... Four and one. They both. One's got to be on bottom. One's got to be on top that we can cancel. Okay. So we're going to multiply three times one is three. Four times two is is eight. So we get three eighths. And to get rid of three eighths, we multiply it by its reciprocal or its inverse, eight thirds. And then that what that does is it's going to cancel. Uh, the eights are going to cancel. The threes are going to cancel over here. Three goes into fifteen five times. 8 goes into 16 2 times, so we, we're left with all that cancellation right there. So we get 5 halves equals h. So answer it in terms of the question. So these are in terms of feet. So the height is 5 halves feet or 2.5 feet or 2.5 feet, depending on uh, what your mood is and what the teacher's mood is. Okay. All right, so paying attention to the units used in real-life uh, situations uh, helps us solve multi-step problems. So if we have different units, we got to convert everything so they're all to the same unit. Okay, here's an example. The classroom aquarium holds 30 gallons of water. Okay, it is 0.8 feet, and that represents 8 tenths, 8 tenths feet wide, and it has a height of 2 feet. Find the length of the aquarium. Okay, use the fact that one cubic foot of water contains about 7.5 gallons of water, okay, a cubic foot of water, yeah. So, uh, notice this is in gallons right here. Volume is in terms of gallons. So I'm going to use the conversion uh, right here. One cubic foot is 7.5 gallons of water, okay. So, so we're going to first need to convert those 30 gallons to cubic feet. So what I'm going to do is since one cubic foot contains 7.5 gallons of water, then this is equal to 1, you guys. So 1 cubic foot to 7.5 gallons of water, these are equal to each other. So I'm just going to multiply that by 30 gallons, and you'll see the gallons cancel. We'll be left in cubic feet. So we're, con we're going to convert those 
30 gallons into how many cubic feet that is with uh, one cubic foot equals 7.5 gallons of water. Notice the gallons cancel and we're left with 30 over 7.5 so 30 divided by 7.5 is 4 so the volume is 4 cubic feet. Now we can use um, the formula uh, length times width times height plug in all the information that we need and so 0.8 times 2 well 8 times 2 is 16 so 0.8 times 2 is 1.6 then divide by 1.6 and we get 2.5. Okay, what's that mean? That means in feet, the length is going to be 2.5 feet uh, long right there. Okay, let's try another one of these. So an aquarium holds this time 33.75 gallons of water. It has a length of 2 feet and a height of 1.5 feet. What's the width? Okay, so we need to convert that also. Remember, 1 cubic foot equals 7.5 gallons of water. So we're going to multiply 33.75 gallons times one cubic foot divided by 7.5 gallons and the gallons will cancel and then 33.75 divided by 7.5 is 4.5 so the volume is 4.5 cubic feet now we just plug that into the formula 4.5 equals 2 times uh, the length times width times height so all the information goes in there divide and we get 1.5 so this is in terms of feet so the width is going to be 1.5 right there. All right, you guys. And when I was uh, your age, I had a pretty cool aquarium in my in my bedroom. It's neat. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. Take care.